Um, concerning the game the other day, I mean, very proud to get a win. Anytime you go on the road and get a win, uh, you'll take that. I'm very pleased with our defense. Uh, we've had, you know, um, out of four games, three, three games, I felt like our defense has really played well, especially from the scoring um, uh, points allowed. And uh, this week was no exception to that. Uh, turnovers, uh, I don't know how many of our defense has gotten on the year right now. I think it's probably, um, what is it, um, 12, 10 to 12, somewhere in there. So doing a great job get, getting the football. So, um, you know, very pleased with that. And we, we, I think we'll only get better defensively. Um, we better because of the opponents that are remaining on our schedule. Thank you. Um, offensively, did just enough. I mean, it's a good job to get the lead early, 20 to nothing, uh, 21 to nothing, and that kind of gave our defense uh, an opportunity to uh, do some different things going into that second half. Uh, you know, also, we kept the ball for a long time that third quarter. But our strategy was this, we were, we're not going to let the receiver beat us. So we did some things, we bracketed some things because we were trying not to leave anybody, you know, single coverage. Uh, that leaves you sometimes one short in the run game. So that's why some of those, you know, um, they were doing a good job getting themselves to some third and shorts, okay? But, you know, as they were doing that, clock was running. Uh, you know, et cetera, but we were trying not to give up the big play. Uh, I think at any time we probably could load the box back up and stop the run, but, you know, we didn't want them to hit one big one uh, to that good wide out. So I'm very pleased, like I said, with our defense is playing and, uh, and our growth on that side of the football. Um, going back, you know, offensively, the turnovers, uh, you know, just, just got to be more, more um, you know, one of them was, you know, young quarterback going in. That, that's part of the young guys getting in late in the game. But as far as, uh, you know, the, the interceptions, I mean, one of them, receivers got to fight for it. The other one, you know, it was a pass interference call that was waved off. Uh, that's very, um, you know, that doesn't happen very much if that happens. Uh, then the other one was the tip ball off the receiver's hand. So, uh, you know, the ball, we got to hold on the football no matter what the situation is. It's not always quarterback. The receivers got to do a better job of helping them there. Uh, run game wise, I mean, we ran just enough to get to get to the next pass. That's kind of what the philosophy was this week. Uh, it, it'll change weekly depending on you know how people line up. Uh, but like I said, you know, sometimes statistics are for losing coaches, losing head coaches, losing assistant coaches. Uh, you know, we're not doing anything pretty offensively right now, but we're three and one. And uh, you know, there's some years where we've been 500 yards a game and lost. And I think a lot of that has to do with the play call that you call uh, because you're down. You know, your hair is always on fire, so you're getting an extra, you know, you're getting an extra 20 plays a game to where you're just kind of throwing caution in the field, in the wind, and look for big plays down the field, and therefore those yards are racking up instead of kind of, um, you know, putting them back in your defensive hands. So we'll continue to do whatever we got to do to win games. So with that, um, I'll open it up. Coach, you mentioned the way the defense has played pretty, pretty well overall. Mm -hmm. I mean, Eastern Kentucky, at least on paper, looks like a, a little bit different animal offense. Mm -hmm. they got a guy who runs for. 200 plus yards last week. Um, I think he had one really long one, still nine yards yeah, to carry. That's right. that's something that has not been, you know, other teams haven't been doing that. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your kind of motor preparation this week? Well, I mean, just that? just like everybody, just like Jacksonville State going in the game, I'm sure they thought, hey, you got to stop the run. I mean, you do, you know. Uh, but they're better in the throwing game this year than they've been in the past. And you love the box up and they get single coverage. And, you know, they got a fifth year quarterback. I think he's fixing a break or tie or, all, you know, all the passing records. So they're efficient enough to uh, throw it out there. So, uh, you know, it's a catch 22 deal. You love the box up, you better be able to cover. Uh, you, you try to cover, you, you know, now you give up six, seven yards of run, you miss a tackle. It, uh, he's proved he can go, uh, you know, go the distance. So they're a very good team. I mean, they really are. They're probably. Top to bottom, I'm not so sure. In seven years, they're you know they're probably the the, the best team we played F FCS. We played some outstanding offenses, some outstanding defenses over the years. Uh, but as a team, as a unit, they're 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 good. They're very difficult to defend. Um, you know, last year we hung in there for a while. Couldn't get didn't do a whole lot of stuff offensively. Had had an opportunity to win the game, missed the extra point, and fumbled the ball late. And they were able to score. So, but it'd be a hard fought game. Uh, you know, the best opportunity you give yourself is not turn the ball over. Try to shorten the game, um, and uh, you know, get to, to a second half game like we did last year. That's the best you can hope for. So, as far as strategy, do you think you can put more people in the box against a guy like that, or is it? Do you think? If we're yeah, no, you have to. You have to. They're too good up front. They get a lot of unbalanced formations, and and uh, you know, top to bottom, they probably got the best offensive line. Uh, you know, blocking power running football team uh, in the conference. So, I mean, if you don't overload the box. Yeah, you know they'll score in about nine plays because they'll just 
crammed down your throat. So you got to move. You got to, you, you, you know, you've got to try to win your one-on-one -on -one battles, but you're going to have to put an extra hat in there. Coach, can you talk about Derek Carr? He's uh, slowly but surely getting toward the all-time leading pass, passer in Martin history. Does he have a chance? What is he? How many, how many yards is he? 184. Is that, well, if he doesn't, then we probably don't have a chance to win the game, you know, this week. But, uh, you know, he's got to play better. I mean, he'll tell you, he, he's got to play better for us. And, 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 and uh, you know, just taking care of the ball. I mean, missing some receivers, uh, reading the wrong side of the field. Uh, our expectations of Derek are, are really, really high. Now, his leadership has been very good. I'm very proud of how he's, you know, how he's leading the team and, and how he's practicing and all that uh, stuff. I couldn't be happier with our senior leadership. But uh, for us, continue to, to uh, you know, to try to find that second conference win. Uh, he's going to play at an extremely high level. And that doesn't mean, you know, always throwing five touchdowns. That's not what that means, right? It just means to. Uh, with Jeremy Butler playing this week, they gave us another weapon to get the ball to. Uh, it's good to see Barfield make a big play. Uh, you know, so now he's, he's got some guys around him that can make a few more plays for him. And, and hopefully that, you know, uh, now everything's not going to number one side. And, um, and, and he did a good job finding other people beside Quentin this past week. Uh, he did. Um, but, he, I mean, he's capable of completing 70% of the passes in, in the game, not just you know, I don't know whether it's 20 for 33 or something like that, but he's more capable of being, you know, uh, this was an easier game for him because there's a lot of man coverage. We'll get a lot of multiple coverage from East Kentucky, a lot of zone pressures. Uh, you know, so you, 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 you've got to know where to go with football or you'll get left holding it and the pressures will get there and sack you. You talked about the offense not being pretty. How much of that is, is Carr's responsibility is for, uh, how much of that is for right. Well, it's it's kind of a combination of some things. I mean, the offensive line is is uh, you know has got to has got to play better. I mean, they'll they'll tell you that. Our expectations for them to play better, uh, you know, and our expectations are high now. I mean, that's uh, you know, you want to you want to be a, a top twenty team. You want to be uh, chasing conference championship. Everybody's got to raise their uh, raise their levels of play. Uh, just what's concerning is is that we're now you know fixing to get to the meat of the OVC schedule with your you know, your, your ranked team's coming up, and, you know, you're going to have to play better. You're going to have to, you know, move the line of scrimmage. We've got to get some, um, uh, you know, there's going to be a time to where everybody in the bar knows we've got to run it. Can we run it when everybody knows we've got to run it? That's, that's what's yet to be determined yet because, uh, you know, we've been in some tight games where it's been balanced and or, or we've been ahead and, uh, you know, where not just one, you know, we were two scores ahead to where, uh, you know, it was okay that we had to score twice. But there'll come a time to where we've got a two-point lead, three-point lead, and we've got to run it, you know, five plays in a row. Can we do that? Uh, you know, I think we're very capable of doing that. Just hadn't seen it yet. That, that Barfield's probably in those top three, to be, to be quite honest with you, because of his explosiveness. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of where we're having to evolve to a little bit. Uh, you know, and that's uh, that's okay. You know, we're we're not as much two back. Uh, you know, we're not as much twenty one personnel as, uh, as much as we've been in the past. So there's time and place for it. But uh, you know, that's one of the things that we're going to have to be more big play oriented now. Okay, and then. You hope that you get the two high safety look, and you're able to run the football to, uh, you know, to keep some drives going. But uh, we've got to look to make some bigger plays. Why are you going to be more big player? Why do you have to be more big player? Well, if, um, well, I said it, it's you know the whole it's whole cat and mouse game to where when you get two high safeties, right, the big play shouldn't be there. So you're you're six in the box, you know, you're going to get four yards, three yards, six yard runs. Okay, um, hoping then you're running enough, right, to get the one high. And that's when you've got to make the bigger plays down, down down the field, and because uh, normally, right, a team stays too high on you, two two safeties, right, you know, force you go 10, 12 play drives, 
it's hard to score 28 points doing that. Eventually, you know, a team will, will mess that up. You'll get a holding call. You'll get something to get behind the chains. It's very difficult to be methodical, um, you know, and, and, and do that. Uh, eventually, college football has evolved to, you know, uh, turnovers and big plays. You know, you look, that's one of the reasons why we're 3-1 right now. Yeah, it's turnovers. We, we've got more than we've given up. And then, you know, big plays would be on offensive defense tackles for loss or big plays. Um, you know, normally you, can, you check the statistics after the game and, and the team that had the big plays, uh, you know, you don't, you don't have to be a 500-yard game offense if you're hitting, you know, six big plays a game and getting things in chunks and getting your 21 points and then all of a sudden your defense gives you a short field and then you punch one more in. Now you're at your 28 and, you know, you're able to get out of there with a win. So excited this week, 11 o'clock kickoff, you know, a little bit different for us uh, on television, so we're excited about that. Doesn't really change our schedule or our workouts uh, or anything like that. It's just Saturday morning, it's an early day. Um, you got to get going a little bit earlier, so hopefully we'll have a, a good crowd with that and then get, you know, it's 11. Hope the students, uh, students are there with us and, uh, you know, it's a good environment. I know you don't get to uh, pick the times, but I mean, do you have a preference as far as playing at night or playing early like that? Uh, if I was on television, I think I'd rather be at night just because you can get crowd worked up and stuff like that but uh, if it's not I certainly like you know the noon kickoffs but uh, you know we'll take what we can get when we get on television. Coach I just got this message this morning the game is going to be online at 11 on following Fox College Sports so depending on what you have dish or direct or charter you got to find it. Right. We're going to do our best to tell everybody where it is uh, it'll probably be later in the week before we know where on fish that right. it is. But at 10 o'clock that night, we know that game is going to be replayed on Fox Sports South. Oh, is it okay? And uh, at my house, that's 437 on the dish. Right. So uh, everybody will have a chance to see it. Because well, I think everybody gets the Fox. Well, great. Well, I, hope, I know the administration is doing a you know big uh, you know marketing promotion thing, get people here, and I certainly hope. Uh, you know, I hope that pays off because I do think we have a good football team. I certainly know East Kentucky does, and uh, you, you know, I think it'd be a shame to have a television game here in our hometown without a great crowd because that's certainly we have a lot here to offer.